Last week, we told you about a precious belonging taken from the gravesite of a local family's son and brother, Gavin Bush. Since then, we've heard from several people reporting similar experiences involving the theft of meaningful, personal belongings stolen from the resting places of their loved ones. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Breen. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. We looked into the matter further. These are just some of the headlines over the years of the unthinkable happening to those grieving a loss. In December 2019, a CNN headline reads, 248 vases stolen from graves in an Indiana cemetery. The Argus Leader in May 2015 states theft of cemetery flowers makes holiday painful. In August 2019, the Des Moines Register reports on the story of a man who vandalized 29 headstones at an Iowa cemetery. Thieves target Nebraska Cemetery is a story from KETV in September 2012. And in Sioux Falls, South Dakota on December 6, 2015, Dakota News Now tells a story about Christmas wreaths stolen off graves at St. Michael's Cemetery. The belongings might not mean much to those vandalizing or taking them, but there is a unique story of a person who once lived behind every one of those items. One of the important things about Gavin is he loved his flow. He loved his long hair. He always had long hair. <laughs> it was part of his personality. Stacy Bush says her middle son, Gavin Wesley Bush, loved donuts and mowing the lawn, was involved in track and cross country at North High, and started his own business. But in January 2017, he died at the age of 17. We all miss him very, very dearly. He was a very loved boy. Gavin was his sister Emma's favorite and slightly mischievous sibling, especially when he muddied up the family's white car. We went to a gas station and he took one of the things that you clean the windshield with and he cleaned the entire car with it. <laughs> and then we went home and no one knew anything about it. Fond memories of Gavin were in a journal that sat next to his gravesite at Memorial Park Cemetery in Sioux City for three and a half years. It was there for loved ones to read and write in it. There was a lot of beautiful messages. Some were just signatures and some were just pouring their heart out to Gavin, how much they missed him, and some just letters to him. After Memorial Day, the book and its nearly full pages of heartfelt thoughts vanished, with only a brick left behind from inside its box. Anybody that didn't know Gavin or my family, it would mean nothing to them. To us, it means everything. Friends, family, and even strangers believe someone must know something to help this family who is simply trying to honor Gavin's memory and heal with the help of his journal. We all really want it back and there's so many reasons why and you could just leave it here underneath. No one will know it was you. Please return my journal. I would give anything to have it back. It means everything to me. The reward for information leading to the return of Gavin's journal is nearly $5,000 and includes contributions from the family and thousands from the community. Stacy and Josh Bush, Gavin's parents, say they can be found on Facebook. If you know anything at all about this theft, please contact the Bush family so they can put the...